which is administered by Magenta and Lumina. There is a fund which is shared by Magenta and the Council and provides for a number of projects and services for the local community. The fund is overseen by a joint working group of representatives from the Council and Magenta Living. The fund has now been in operation since 2005 and a breakdown of the current position and expenditure to date is set out in the report. There is a particular issue of environmental warranties which were provided at the outset to mitigate against risks which may arise in the sites transferred to the stock. These have now been in place for nine years without having to be activated. It is therefore requested of members to release the environmental warranty results held in the community forum to the council and agenda. Members are also asked to recognise that provision will be made in the council's insurance fund in future and to know <coughs> the availability of support from the fund for the services identified in this report. Okay, can we can we agree those recommendations? Agreed? Yes? Okay, thank you. Can somebody ask Joyce? Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
that, Adam. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask our cabinet member uh, who this uh, item comes under, Councillor Anne Clapper, just to respond to this report. Yes, thank you. Well, Chair, I'd like to start by congratulating um, uh, Council Mr. Wigan and Mr. Council Mr. Wigan, who formed this uh, scrutiny review panel and undertook what is an excellent piece of task constituents, really uh, helping us to refine and you know be more efficient in dealing with a particular problem area. Um, and it's a, you know, it's an excellent piece of work. I'd really like to congratulate you. But as, as you uh, pointed out, have a eight, eight recommendations which flow from your um, from your review. And as a result of that now, uh, in conjunction with um, service head of human service, I've now worked on an action plan to address those eight recommendations. Just briefly, I'd like to talk about that chair and what, that, what those actions will be. But suffice it to say that uh, those actions will be implemented between now and December, and um, that we will have further reporting back to Cabinet and certainly to Council on those. And they will include um, the nomination of champions, so a single point of contact for FOIs uh, within departments, and an established strategic directors and heads of service will be identifying and nominating champions, and um, so that action will be done uh, fairly soon. There are a number of actions that are going to relate to our, our CRM, which is our customer relationship management software system, and we're going to look at uh, that in particular in a number of areas. One is, how can we do better recording, recording and monitoring to shorten the timescales uh, when, when we receive F F F FOI requests? And um, also a solution possibly to look at how we capture uh, all the information about FOIs before it's actually disseminated so we've got it all in one place. And a further piece of work is going to be undertaken with our software also to look at whether it's actually fit for purpose to deal with some of these issues. And if it is um, identified that we actually need a new kind of uh, piece of software, then we can go to ask a business case to be brought forward to show that we are going to be demonstrating that that's going to uh, you know, have some sort of outcomes for us. Also, in terms of one of the recommendations that you made was, you know, at, at what level in the organisation are the, are the FOIs dealt with? Well, the, yes, the FOI reporting is now going to be escalated to the Chief Executive's Office and the Strategy Group. Uh, but also, and I think quite importantly, uh, through the policy and performance committees into our new performance management framework now, so we can actually have much more oversight in terms of uh, scrutiny of this, this area. Another piece of work is going to be undertaken to identify what you call trends and themes really. Could we categorise um, FOIs? We know that the key problem here is that we have high volume of FOIs from a small number of people who request them. But are some of those on the particular trends and themes where we could create something on our um, website which, which would be like frequently asked questions so that information is there, it's readily accessible. What we want to do is make sure that we're as open and transparent as we possibly can be in order that we can lessen the number of FOI requests that need to come through the council. Another piece of work will be undertaken with our marketing team to look at uh, how is information structured and accessed on our website. In other words, how accessible is information? If you come onto the council's website and you're trying to find something out, how easy is it? So we're going to ask the department to kind of market test queries and see um, whether we need to do some work there. But I think all in all, what uh, what this this piece of this exercise has demonstrated is that the that members working together have come up with shared solutions that are going to help us to deal with this in a more effective way. It is going to involve looking at some of our internal systems, some of our ICT. Um, but again, I'd like to thank you, and I'd also like to thank Sergio to his help, his team, and those 